Can you hear me? All right. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Darya Baran. I'm an assistant professor at King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia. And I'm privileged, honored, and very excited to be here in Dubai, as I've seen already a lot of high-rise buildings covered in glass and a lot of sunlight, which perfectly explains my innovation today, which is transparent solar windows. So, world population grows one by one every second. Out of six billion people around the globe, already three billion of us live in urban cities. So this population is set to grow in the next 30 years. By 2050, around 70% of the whole world population is predicted to live in the urban environments. <clears throat> this uh, rapidly growing concentrated uh, population is actually cons uh, will be around the um, hot equatorial regions around the globe, and especially in our sun-rich MENA region. This will bring two major challenges in the future, food and energy. And this leaves us actually with 80% of our food being imported from all around the world, which leaves a huge carbon footprint. And it's not only plants our food and, and food, 70% uh, of our energy in the MENA region is consumed just for air conditioning and keeping us cool. This costs us $30 million per day in Saudi Arabia alone in the summer months just to keep us cool. So worldwide, the situation is similar, um, where the usage of air conditioning is set to actually predicted to increase by 300% in the next 30 years. However, sun is a vital thing for humanity. We need sunlight to be happy and healthy. Our plants need sun to grow. Therefore, we cover all our buildings in glass to let the maximum light in. So this leaves us in a dilemma. How are we going to build our sustainable cities of the future? So my dream was the next solar energy dream, which to build our future cities with a materials engineer perspective to make them not only energy efficient, but energy sufficient themselves by utilizing the never-ending free energy source, the sun. So after years of research and material design, we have developed a breakthrough technology that can make any window as a solar panel. Our technology allows us to produce electricity by absorbing the non-visible parts of the sun rays into human eye, therefore it's still transparent. By absorbing the infrared light, we can dramatically reduce the heat uh, <clears throat> entering the building and also um, keep the window transparent to our eyes. So our innovation is completely different than the silicon technologies available. It is transparent. We can coat our technology onto glass with layer by layer using con conventional coating and printing techniques in air. This makes it scalable and also suitable for large area processing where uh, building cladding materials are required. So then we package this uh, product into a double glazing unit, run the electrical connections through the frame of the unit, which makes our product ready and available for building integration and export it. And this is not just buildings. Our technology let the most useful light in for um, a plant growth for the high-tech um, greenhouses, which will be a major component in the future cities, and also for bee and uh, insect for pollination. So by absorbing the near IR part of the lights, not only we can produce electricity and reduce the heat load of a greenhouse, but also actually we can increase the crop yield. So we have long had discussions and debates where the silicon technology is leading um, this um, field that we should use our lands for food or energy. So I believe with this breakthrough technology, we can co-utilize our precious lands for both. And with this, actually we're one step closer to our self-sustaining and self-sufficient cities of the future. In the era of digitalization, I believe we shouldn't be afraid of using innovative technologies for the good of humankind. And with the low carbon footprint technologies, we can be as ambitious as our imaginations let us 
and also whilst at the same time sustainable for future generations. So my name is Daria Baran, and I hope today I've shown you our oldest green resources can use to power our newest innovations. Thank you. Thank you.